Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we read diving deep into one of the most common check engine like codes that drivers encounter. P0171 System to Lean, Bank One. If you've seen this code pop up on your scanner, don't pan it. We're going to break down exactly what it means, what problems it can cause, and most importantly, how you can fix it. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to get your car running smoothly again. So, what exactly is a P0171 code? In simple terms, your car's engine is getting too much air and not enough fuel in its air-fuel mixture. Think of it like trying to start a fire with way too much kindling and not enough wood. It just won't burn right. Your engine needs a precise balance of air and fuel to operate efficiently. And this code tells you that the balance for bank one is off. For most inline engines, bank one is the only bank for V-type engines. It's the side that contains cylinder number one. Your car's computer, the ECU, is constantly monitoring this mixture using oxygen sensors. When it detects that the mixture is consistently lean, meaning there's an excess of oxygen after combustion, it triggers the check engine light and stores the P0171 code. Now, you might be wondering, what does a lean condition actually feel like when I'm driving? Well, the symptoms can range from subtle to very noticeable. One of the first things you might experience is poor acceleration. When you press the gas pedal, the car might feel sluggish or like it's struggling to get up to speed. You might also notice a rough idle. When you're stopped at a red light, the engine might shake, sputter, or feel like it's about to stall. Hesitation is another big one. The car might stumble or pause for a moment before it responds to your throttle input. And ironically, even though you're using less fuel in the mixture, a lean condition almost always leads to worse gas mileage. That's because the engine isn't running efficiently, so it has to work harder, burning more fuel overall to produce the same amount of power. And of course, the most obvious sign is that pesky check engine light on your dashboard. Okay, so we know what the code means and what it does to our car's performance. The next logical question is, where's the problem? What's causing this lean condition? This is where things can get a bit tricky, because several different components can be the culprit. Let's go through the most common suspects, starting with the easiest ones to check. First up is the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAIF sensor. This little device measures the amount of air entering the engine. If it's dirty or faulty, it can send incorrect information to the ACU, leading to an improper fuel mixture. Another huge culprit for a P0171 code is a vacuum leak. Your engine's intake system is supposed to be a completely sealed environment. If there's a crack in a vacuum hose, a bad gasket on the intake manifold, or any other unmetered opening. Extra air can sneak into the system after the MAF sensor. The ECU doesn't know about this extra air, so it doesn't add enough fuel to compensate, resulting in a lean condition. These leaks can be tiny and hard to spot, but they are a very frequent cause. Next on our list are issues with the fuel system itself. It's not always about too much air. Sometimes it's about not enough fuel getting to the engine. This could be due to low fuel pressure, which might point to a weak fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter. It could also be clogged or dirty fuel injectors. If the injectors aren't spraying the proper amount of fuel into the cylinders, the mixture will naturally be lean. Finally, we have to consider the oxygen sensors themselves, specifically the upstream O2 sensor on bank one. This is the sensor that S actually detecting the lean condition, while it's usually just reporting the problem. Sometimes the sensor itself can become old, slow, or faulty. It might get stuck reading lean even when the mixture is correct, tricking the ECU into thinking there's a problem that isn't really there. So how do we fix it? The key is a systematic approach. Don't just start replacing parts. The first and simplest step is to inspect and clean the MAF sensor. You can buy a special MAF sensor cleaner at any auto parts store. A quick cleaning can sometimes solve the problem instantly. While you're under the hood, perform a thorough visual inspection of all the vacuum lines and intake hoses. Look for any cracks, breaks, or loose connections. You can sometimes find a leak by listening for a hissing sound while the engine is running. For more hidden leaks, a smoke test is the professional way to pinpoint the exact location. If cleaning the MAF and checking for vacuum leaks doesn't work, the next step is to check your fuel system. You'll need a fuel pressure gauge to test the pressure at the fuel rail. Compare your reading to the manufacturer's specifications. If the pressure is low, you'll need to investigate the fuel pump and filter. Inspecting fuel injectors is a bit more involved, 
but you can sometimes clean them using a fuel injector additive as a first step. If you suspect one is completely clogged, it may need to be professionally cleaned or replaced. If all else fails and you've ruled out vacuum leaks and fuel delivery issues, it's time to look at the oxygen sensor. You can check its performance using a good OBD2 scanner that shows live data. A healthy sensor will show a rapidly fluctuating voltage. If it's slow or stuck on a low voltage reading, it's likely time for a replacement. Remember, with a PO171 code, diagnosis is everything. Taking the time to properly find the root cause will save you a lot of time, money, and frustration. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this guide helps you tackle that PO171 code with confidence. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more car repair tips and tricks. Drive safe, and I'll see you in the next one.